August 8th, 2022, this soul pilot's coming in. You can see his friend is waiting for him here. And he catches power lines and comes straight down. Luckily, he hit the tail first. That could have been a lot worse. And the friend was there to come and run in and help take him out. So today, we're going to be going over the NTSB final report. And this is the aircraft here. It was a Cessna 182 Skylane November 8865 Tango. So you can see the substantial damage throughout the aircraft. The cockpit looks in good shape. You're gonna firefighters are on scene. They're gonna go ahead and help that uh, patient out. Check vitals, airway, breathing. Is check the circulation. Check his pulse. Check uh, is there any medical conditions that could have caused the crash? Check them physically, head to toe. You know that this was a tra traumatic uh, event. So is there any type of uh, injuries? Any bleeding? Things like that. So this is what happened. The pilot was on final approach when he collided with a set of unmarked power lines that ran perpendicular to the runway. The airplane flipped over and impacted the ground, resulting in substantial damage to the tail section. The pilot said he reviewed the airport facility directory prior to the flight and was aware of the runway, had a displaced threshold, and a set of power lines located between the end of the runway and the section of pine trees which were equal to the height of the power lines. He said that he cleared the pine trees on final approach when he saw the power lines and struck them five feet too low. The pilot reported that there were no pre-accident mechanical malfunctions with the airplane that would have precluded normal operation. So that's good. At least the pilot could, you know, talk and knew where he was and was coherent enough to give that report. There you can see they have that spreaders, extrication tools that uh, we use from time to time. This is kind of how it works. So you can use it to crush or you could use it to spread, spread the dash, get things away from the pilot so that you can make access and get them out safely. Here's the airport. So it says the plane was somewhere around here. I was trying to see where that power lines were at this Holly Ridge Air Park in North Carolina. So here's approach end. Here's some power lines here. Um, there is other areas where it could have possibly hit perpendicular to the runway. Back to the scene, you can see this is kind of where the aircraft is in proximity to the runway. And probable cause on this one is the pilot's failure to maintain clearance of power lines on final approach. Please subscribe if you like these NTSB final reports. This is our friend Keone. See you guys next time.